Hello and welcome to another Facebook Live and today we are here to talk a little bit about um, cracking your joints. So if you have a problem popping or cracking your joints and you're concerned, hey, is this is this a bad thing? Am I going to create uh, all kinds of problems? Or or you know somebody who <laughs> does it all the time, pops their joints around you and it's like freaking you out and it's really annoying to you and you like gives you the heebie-jeebies, you definitely want to tag them in or like this video or share this video with somebody who you think needs to hear this. Um, this is a question that I get in practice almost every day every single day, so I thought I'd address it. Again, I'm Dr. Andrew Smith from the Head and Neck Centers of Excellence. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I love having you here with me. So let's talk a little bit about popping and cracking your joints, but I'm gonna give you, if you stick around, some of my, some of my insights, three tips that I would do if this is an issue for you or somebody you care about. Um, but first, what is it? What happens actually when you hear that popping sound? And the first thing you should know is that inside each joint is this little area, it's called a capsule. And the capsule in our body is filled with nitrogen gas and this fluid, and we call that synovial fluid. And the synovial fluid, when you kind of think of it like uh, the yolk of an egg, and when you shift a joint or move a joint, that that fluid shifts a little bit and it creates these little air pockets and a little nitrogen gas and as the joints release the gas pops and you hear that little clicking and popping noise so that's really what you're hearing now is this bad there really is not any literature that you can point to to show that this creates arthritis or creates irritation to the joints um, however there's a couple of things you must keep in mind so the first thing you want to think about is when you move a joint, if it's moved in the normal ranges that joint's supposed to move in, and you hear that gas come out as the joint moves out of the capsule, it's not necessarily a bad thing. For example, if you move left to right with your neck, or left to right with your neck, this is considered generally a normal range for that joint. If you hear clicking or popping or the gas expansion come out of that, it's not typically a bad thing. However, if you see somebody or you have this constant urge to kind of like twist your spine or your back or your knuckles in these really weird ways, that could you see could, could cause a potential problem because you're taking the joint outside of its normal range, irritating discs and nerves and ligaments and tendons. So that's a big point of contention. So three tips that I have for you if you can't stop that urge of popping or you know somebody who's constantly doing this, the first thing is this. You want to make sure you move the joint in the range of motion it's supposed to go in. So no weird bending, twisting to create a noise. Oh, I just want to kind of make these weird movements. No, no, no. That it definitely is going to help your body defend itself, create a reaction. You could cause potential problems. So that's the first thing. The second thing is if you have this constant urge and it's really just happening all the time, you may want to take that area that you're doing this with and begin to learn how to strengthen it. Strengthen it means resistance training. Strengthening it means isometric training. You can Google those terms if you don't know what it is, or PM me, or shoot me an email. I'll give you that information later, and I'll explain exactly what I mean about that. But you really want to work on that joint a little bit to actually strengthen it so you don't have that urge to pop it. The last tip that I have is that if you are moving the joint in the ranges of motion you're supposed to and it's not helping you, or you're strengthening and giving resistance training and isometric training to those joints and it's still not helping you, the third tip is seek somebody who specializes and their advice and their help. This could mean that you have ligaments that are lax, it could mean that your joints are not positioned properly, or a host of other things. So if you find yourself constantly having the urge, constantly having this, and you've tried these strategies not working, definitely contact somebody like me who can guide you, examine you, kind of share with you what else you might be missing out on or what you might be wanting to do. So those are my tips about popping and cracking your joints. Not necessarily unsafe, but you need to make sure you uh, are keeping in line with the right ranges of motion. As always, this is Dr. Andrew Smith from the Head and Neck Center of Excellence. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this information with anybody who you think might be value, value this. If you need more information and you're not sure what else to do, make sure you comment below and I'll get back with you. Or you can also PM me or you might want to shoot us an email at info at the head and neck centers of excellence.com. I'll be more than happy to respond with you and someone from our team will reach back out with you. So as always, have an awesome day and stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.